Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Fishing with One Purpose Fishing. Now, today, as you can tell, I'm not out in the water. I'm actually in my studio to tell you about some of the newest fishing technology on the market. Now, this is really cool. It's called Angler Tech. Now, what Angler Tech is is it's this little device that you can attach to your fishing pole, and it'll track your it'll track your uh, casts. You can uh, track your trips, the duration of your trips, uh, your speed, distance, all the environmental conditions. Uh, you can like track your tackle, you can create your rod and reel combos with the brand reel and the brand rod, which is kind of cool. You can create your tackle, your whole tackle box on there, what type of baits are they, uh, what type of baits they are, uh, if it's like Senkos or crankbaits or jigs, whatever, they got it. You can put the color, the size, and the types. Um, you can also drop pins where you've been catching fish or uh, drop pins where you want to come back. Uh, you can log all your catches and you can also... Uh, review your stats after you're done with that trip. Now, it just sounds like any basic fishing app, but it, it's not, trust me. You get all these other apps that you can log your catches and everything, but seriously, who's going to take the time to catch a fish and sit down in their boat or sit down on the bank, pull out their phone, put the weight, the picture, and all that? No. Nobody wants to take the time to that, especially if you're competitive, competitively fishing. You don't have time to do that. That's where Angler Tech comes in, because with Angler Tech, it automatically logs the catch for you. It can, it'll even tell you how long you've been catching the fish, and it can detect whenever you actually catch a fish by nine different points inside the device that detect when the cat, uh, the fish is swimming, and then whenever you land the fish, all you do is press one button, and it automatically tells you that you caught the fish and where you caught it and then you can later go back and then input that stuff. You don't even have to do it at that time, but it has most of the information. So, but if you don't actually have the device, you can use the app. Now, let me tell you some of the main features of the app, then I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my phone and show you the app itself. The app has a lot of, uh, just like a lot of features that other apps don't have. You can track your trip, all you do is you start trip, it'll track the the duration of the trip, it'll uh, track even how fast you're going, uh, the distance that you go, and on the map it'll have lines of everywhere you've went. It'll track the environmental conditions, which is like wind, temperature, the moon phase, uh, the bar uh, barometric pressure, the cloud coverage, precipitation, water flow, water temperature, gauge, tide, all that. It can do all of that. Uh, and that's just the environmental conditions. You also have uh, you can manage and track your tackle, which is pretty much you can uh, track the color, the size, and the types of tackle that you're using and specific types of tackle to um, see what you've been catching fish with in that certain area. Um, also, right before you start, the, uh, start your trip, you pick whatever pole and whatever bait you're using. And until you change that bait, if you catch a fish on that bait, it'll tell you, uh, it'll automatically log without you having to do it. And, uh, that you had caught that fish on that certain bait, which is really cool. So you can pretty much put your entire tackle box in there. So I'm really, I really like that feature so that I know what I have and I don't have to uh, remember what bait I was using whenever I caught it because it's automatically in my device. Um, you can also drop pins with one press of a button where you've been fishing. Uh, but if you don't have the de device, all you have to do is press and hold on the app and it'll automatically drop a pin for you. Um, then you can log all your catches, like I already talked about that, you know, the size, weight of the fish, where you caught the fish, what you caught the fish on, a picture of the fish, all that. And then you can go back after the trip and you can review the stats. Now, that's pretty much the uh, main features of the actual uh, app. Why don't we go ahead and pull out my phone and let's actually look at the app itself. Alright, so I have the Google Play Store open because I have an Android device, but it is also available on the Android and iOS market. So, you're gonna wanna look up Angler Labs Inc. Pretty much that's why I got up as the first result. So let me go ahead and click that. Uh, it should be the first one. I already have it installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the app right here. So this is kind of what it looks like whenever it's opening up. So whenever you first get it, you're gonna to have to create an account. Um, you can sign in with Facebook, use your Google email address, or you can just create a regular account. So this is pretty much what the app looks like. So you're gonna have your main map. Now let me go ahead and show you what's gonna first pop up whenever you first get the app. You can come down here to view it uh, if you ever lose it. All you gotta do is click view help screen 
And this is what it's gonna look like whenever you first open up the app. It's gonna say welcome to Angler and it's gonna tell you a little thing, a little about it. You just tap the screen and it'll tell you all the main features, which right here, you press and hold to drop pins anywhere. Uh, your location, you can pause trip, end trip, press right there, log a cat, catch. You can uh, drop pins, tackle box. Uh, over here, you view conditions, statistics, toggle maps, show historic pins, and view the help screen like we're at right now. Then up that little fishing pole up there is where you would pair your tracker, and then you can click right there to uh, take a photo. Then we go and tap, uh, tap it. It'll ask you if you're fishing with a tracker, and if you are, you just click to connect. If not, you would click right here, no tracker and then it brings you back here. So let me zoom out real quick, just a little bit. You can change the map if you come over and click these three dots up in the top right corner. Uh, toggle map type, it'll uh, show you the terrain right there, or you can go toggle it one more time. It'll show you just like uh, mountain structures and lakes, and then tap it one more time, and it's just back to regular where it's all the highways and everything. Um, so that's pretty, that's the fish mode right there. Uh, we'll start a trip in a sec. First, let's go over to the tackle shop right here. Now, I've already created one rod here, but I'm going to go ahead and go in and add another rod combo. So what you do is you pick your rod type, which I actually, or right here, bait casting rod, or you got bait casting center pin, fly rod, ice rod, spinning rod, surf rod, trolling rod. I have a bait casting rod. Crap, wrong one. Bait casting rod. Rod brand, tons of brands to choose from. They actually don't have H2O Express, which is what I use, but that's all right. For now, let me just go ahead and put like a Bass Pro Shops. Um, rod power, you got extra heavy, fast, heavy, light, medium, medium action, medium heavy, medium light, slow action, ultra heavy, ultra light. I use medium heavy. Then down here, you can put the length of your pole. Mine is a seven foot pole just seven, not seven, three. Move on here, and then you can add notes, like I can put right here, I'll put primary, primary rod, because it is my primary rod. And then click next, and it'll take you over to your reel. I can come click right here. I have a Okuma on this. Model name, Saros. Uh, gear ratios, mine's a 6-1. Six, six uh, line brand, let's see, uh, let's just put a sun line. Line type, uh, braided, pound test, 30 pound test. Boom, save. And then you can name your rod and reel combo. I'm going to just name it the same as I did. Primary combo. Boom. And then it saves it right there. Now let's go ahead and go over to lures. I got one bait in there. It's a stick bait. It's a Bass Pro Shops 4 inch uh, green pumpkin. It has the little colors right over there. And I got a little note on there. It's my go-to bait always. So let's go ahead and let me add a lure right here. Uh, let's see. I think I'll put a crankbait on here. Type um, shallow diving because I like using 3 to 5 feet square bills. Let's go find a storm. I, I love using the storm or ashes. So I can't find it here. Primary color, usually a kind of a chartreuse um, chrome kind of deal is the color I like using. It's about two inches. And I don't need to add any additional notes and boom right there added it right there let's see bait I already got a bait on here I got cut bait let me go ahead and show you how to add a bait category uh, let's go ahead and put natural I'll put a type right here let's see bluegill that sounds good uh, let's see let's say a three inch bluegill uh, additional notes I can just go ahead and put catfish because that's what I would use bluegill for and save it right there and then you can also add flies, but I don't fly fish, so I'm not going to add any flies. Um, you can click up here to go to your profile. On the profile, it'll show you your trips, time, distance, cast, catches, pins. You can click right here to show you all your trips, 
blank. I don't have any trips. Uh, my catches, also blank. I don't have any catches yet. Uh, my notes, don't have any notes yet either. And then my photos, which I don't have any photos yet. But you can have all that stuff. And you got your profile picture up there, me holding my big fish. Um, let's see. Then I'll go back to fish mode. Now let's go ahead and actually start a trip so I can show you what a trip would look like. Now it's going to select your method. Let's see. Conventional. Select species. Bass. You can also do salt water. You just click the salt water uh, tab right there. Um, so select right there. You got a uh, rod combo, which is where you would go and you'd pick your rod tackle right here. I can go ahead and click my uh, soft stick bait and then you can actually check for uh, local water data, uh, data around you. So I click select buoy. Let's see. Um, let's see. Twin Buttes Reservoir. That's a good place. And then you start trip. So now it's showing you your starting point and it'll track everywhere that you drive. So, I mean, obviously I can't show you because I'm not out on the lake and I'm not out driving. But right there it says trip is running and it's, uh, let me find myself again. Uh, it's counting down the trip. Right here it'll tell you how fast you're going, how many casts, how many miles you've gone, how many uh, catches you've had. Right here, uh, this is where you would add a log right there, super easy. You just tap the fish right there, put in the information and save. And you don't have a bunch of... Uh, options to go through so it's super simple super quick then you have right here uh, you can uh, drop certain types of pins you have your honey hole weed bed structure rock shelf or a custom one let's go ahead and say honey hole I guess this is my honey hole you know this is my home right here uh, then you go down here to uh, tackle where you can change your active tackle let me uh, click right here to a shallow diving my shallow diving crankbait and you can also change your uh, rod and reel combo right there as well and then all, like I said earlier all you do is you hold down to drop a pin weed uh, weed pit right there just dropped on my neighbor's house that's, that's funny but uh and that, that's pretty much how you do it and then let's see uh, you have your pause trip you can pause it if you're like taking a break but you don't want to completely end it yet and then right over here you can end trip are you sure you wish to end the current trip yes I am and it'll show you where you stop as well. So uh, it'll tell you how many pins, catches, how many cats you had, how many photos, and then you can add notes. See, it says evening trip. You can change the name of the trip, but that's essentially uh, the app itself. So I'm gonna pull back out and I'm gonna close out this video. So that's essentially the Angler app. Now I will have more videos coming out on specifically how to use the Angler once I get my uh, actual Angler unit. You're going to want to check out that video if you have an angler unit or if you're planning on getting one because I'll be reviewing, unboxing, showing you how to use it. I will also do another video on the actual angler experience, which is uh, it's it goes on your computer and it pulls up all the graphs from all the trips because all your devices are connected through a cloud and you can pull it up on your computer and you can view all the information from every trip you've ever been on using the angler. Now it's a really awesome product. It is the future of like fishing logs. It's definitely going to take off and it is going it is the best on the market, better than any app out there that has the logs. So, that's pretty much all I got for this kind of a uh, informational video about the Angler app. If you've been wondering about the app, uh, whether you should actually just get it or you're thinking about getting a unit, hope this video actually helped you get a better idea of the Angler product. Anyways guys, that's all I got for today's video. I really hope you learned something and hope you are going to go out and get an angler unit of yourself or just download the app and just use it like it is. But that's all I got for today's video guys. I'm One Purpose Fishing. Remember, keep your mind right and your line tight. Thanks for watching.